Hello everyone! Hello from Epcot! Today is our first day that we've had the chance to come to Epcot's Flower and Garden! Yay! Are you being goopy? Yes. Oh, okay! <laughs> I know, I love that little cake. I know, I'm really excited to see more of the topiaries. I feel like this was probably one of my favorite festivals last year. I agree. Maybe not food-wise, the food was still good, but yeah. I think just like the like the topiaries. And yeah, everything. I like to see the different sceneries. I also am really excited to go back into like the butterfly tent. Yeah, that, that was, was one fun. of my favorites. We actually just saw a butterfly flying around, and that's what like reminded me. I'm like, oh yeah, we have the tent. I so I'm super excited, as we already said, but let's get going and let's see some more topiaries. Of course, at the entrance, we always pick up our festival passports. They tell you like scavenger hunts and what kind of food they've got. Oh, and what kind of merch they got. Oh, that's oh cool. My Whoa, God. that's cute. Oh, right I yes. love that. Maybe we can find it. Yeah. We'll have to oh, look. also, Zoe's already wearing her flower and garden ears. Yeah, Adam picked them up for me like last week. Yeah, while Zoe was at work, I had to. I stopped in just to like take a look and I saw the ears and I wanted to make sure that they had them yeah. and I knew she wanted them so I got them for her. They're so cute. They're like little orange slices and they have orange fruit and they have little orange blossoms. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, they're really cute. We're just going to head into the creation shop just to see if there's anything new that we haven't seen for a little bit. They have a little balloon sipper. That's really cute. It's tiny though. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look, look like it holds a lot of liquid. It's $22.99. I've seen a lot of pictures of this. Yeah, that's really I like cute. this one a lot. It's the pretzel spirit jersey. I like how it has little flakes of salt. Yeah, I like the big pretzel on the back. And I like this one a little bit better than the um, waffle spirit jersey. Yeah. Because I like that the pretzel pattern's on the sleeves and not like big on the front. We just had another guest tell us that it smells like pot or popcorn. That smells like pretzels. Yeah, and it definitely does smell like pretzels. Yeah. It's actually pretty crazy how much it smells like a Disney pretzel. But it's sad because once you put it in the washer, it wouldn't smell anything, you know? Oh, yeah. It would just smell I wonder if it would. I don't know. It well, good, if you have this spirit jersey and you've washed it, comment down below if, if it still if smells like pretzel. Like pretzel. Zoe so found her favorite princess's ears. They're it's Tiana about, ears. It's about time that they got some Tiana ears. Yeah. But they're bobble bars, yeah. so they're like $50 because they have like little pearls. Yeah. How do they look? Like? Very cute. Those are really cool. Oh, those are way cute. I love them. For $119.99, you can get a purple denim jacket with Princess Tiana. There's like Naveen and Princess Tiana as frogs. There's King King Louis. Why do I call him King Louis? Because of like, king. yeah, no, that's just Louis. They actually have multiple princesses. So, oh, cool. is Pocahontas a princess? Yeah, she's the daughter of the chief. Okay. So yeah, she's a princess. What they also have a Cinderella. I like that. That one's cool too. This I'm, one's like the lightest denim color. I really like that they have Pocahontas and Tiana because those are like two of my favorites and I feel like they're lesser. There's really like, they not. Don't have a lot of yeah, I feel like there's more um tiana stuff but not not a whole lot yeah not as much as like cinderella or Bethel yeah or something like that. and they have the harmonious spirit jersey it's really cool it's like sparkly and then it has like Whoa. different scenes from harmonious well it has like hunchback there's brave, brave coco and mulan yeah that's really cool and then the front just has like the ebcot logo and here is probably the most popular flower and garden spirit jersey. This is probably one of the best spirit jerseys ever. Look how cute it is. It says, the original Florida orange bird. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Bring back to me. If you don't know, back in the old days, they used to have like an orange bird, like how Mickey would walk around. They had orange bird walking around, but they don't have them anymore. I do think they need to bring them back. Yeah, everyone wants it. Yeah, maybe for like a special event or something. They should bring them back to like flower and garden. Yeah. Like have them out for this time of year. Little shorts? Yeah, these, these are so cute. They're like little sweat shorts, but they're not soft on the inside. They're like, not, not oh, soft, but, but not like hot. Anymore. Yeah. How much are those ones? $36.99. Okay, that sounds pretty average, I think, for like Disney shorts. Yeah. They also have a harmonious t-shirt that has a little bit more to that harmonious logo with the different characters. And this one is $24.99. Well, it looks like they do have a lot of the ears still. So that's a good sign. I found a mug and it's orange bird. 
I like this one. And then it says flower and garden. I actually like that it doesn't have a year. Yeah, me too. It I, just has the title. Yeah, I think I've said it before, but I'm not like a huge fan of like things that have years on them. Yeah, me either. Um, I do, however, like the vintage, like centennial, like the 2000 stuff. Yeah. Just because I think it was like a big milestone right. and they use Sorcerer Mickey for like a lot of it. So yeah. I really like that, but yeah. I like this mug and it's only 20 bucks. So the theme for this year is like grow green. Oh, so they have all kinds of different things. This is like a Swell bottle. Not actually like Swell brand, but something similar for $29.99. And it's got this little Mickey Grow Green flowering garden. It, again, doesn't have a year, so I like that. Have you ever noticed that the Turvis logo is very similar to that of Epcot? Yeah, I did notice that. But this one actually does have the year. It says 2022's flowering garden. And I like this. It's just got like all kinds of fruits and vegetables and then like little Mickey on the front. Yeah. And this one is $26.99. Honestly, maybe I could be wrong, but I feel like the bigger Turvises used to be more expensive. I thought so too. I thought they were like 35, but maybe not. I don't know. It's a good size for 27. They have a little like gardening tool set with this nice pattern on it. And it is $30. I'm not sure where more of these are. I really want But that's this. cool. You can put a plant in it and it hangs and says a little dirt never hurt with Mickey. Mm. Dirt hurts me. It's only $25. That's not bad. I, I feel like you would 50. probably be paying $25 for any kind of a flower hanging pot holder like that, don't you think? Yeah, that's really cute. I like him. Do gardeners wear aprons? Uh, maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. It's nice though. It's yeah. $29.99. Same little saying, a little dirt never hurt. They have this little pitcher. That's cute. It's like nice little spring decor. I thought, I thought the lid was taped because there is tape on it, but it looks like someone might have taken the tape off. Um, this one is $29.99 as well. This is a nice color. Yeah, I really like it because it's very great. And then like a little light blue too. And it says Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. This one does have the year over here off to the side. And then on the front, it just has a little flowers. Does it say Zinnia? Yeah, that's what kind of flower. That's the like kind of flower? Yeah, oh, the, little a little butterfly. Like different flowers that says like rose. Oh and yeah. Daisy. Wait, wait. Basil. That's cool. Basil. <laughs> See, now this is what you would wear to garden, right? Yeah. It's like a thicker like, a like kind of like a canvasy corduroy shirt. Yeah, it's really cute. I like the little hidden Mickey in the flowers. Oh, that is cute. Oh. Butterfly. That's a butterfly and like a little Mickey down there too. Very cute. This one is $49.99. Wow. They also have a spirit jersey like grow green to match the spirit jersey. They have a bucket hat. I think they had an orange bird bucket hat too. I've seen people wearing it, but I didn't oh. see it in here. That Maybe matches, they like, might have it around like the festival booths too. Instead of a cat lady or like a dog lady, you could be a plant lady. That's funny. That one is $14.99. That's a cute little pot. I forgot to mention, the bucket hat is $39.99. They also have this little tin with a little handle. It kind of feels cheaply made, honestly. Mm. Like, feel the handle. Mm, yeah, like, kind of like plastic. Cheapy plastic, and then this is tin. It's $29.99, so I don't know. I think that might be the first thing that I'm like, mm, yeah, I kind of expensive for what it is. Here's some gardening rain boots. They're wellies. <laughs> You're the only person that I've ever heard people like call them wellies before. That's what the British people call them. Oh, I didn't know. The brand is Wellington. Well, these aren't actually Wellingtons. Gotcha. It's a brand called Wellington, and they call them wellies. Is that from like Paddington? I think I did get it from Paddington actually. <laughs> Is $15 expensive for gardening gloves? I don't know, I never bought gardening gloves. I'm thinking probably. But it, it also has a little saying, little dirt never hurt. And look at this really cute tote bag. It's inside out, it can do it. Oh, like it's like two. reversible? Yeah, reversible, not inside out, reversible. That's what I'm looking oh, for. Oh, it says like good natured. That's, That's funny. Really cute. I love that. 
So of course they have two flower and garden magic bands, which I feel like they typically do have two. Yeah. So they usually have one with a figment design and they have one with a Mickey and Minnie design. Yeah. So the Mickey and Minnie design is a limited edition of 2,500 and it has the flower and garden and the year with Mickey. It's kind of in like a spring, like Dapper Dan outfit almost. Yeah. And then Minnie Mouse in her like flower floral dress with some flowers. And this one has figment with some fruit. He's a gardening boy. I think those are veg. Some veg. <laughs> and then it just has like little designs of like flowers and yeah. things. I think I like that one the best. Is that, that a pass holder one? Yeah, it is actually. Oh, yeah. I, if you look at the bottom, I didn't notice that until just barely, but it does have the pass holder. So this is also a pass holder jacket. Oh, it is? Oh, well, there's a little pass holder sign right there. Oh, yeah, it says right there. Yeah. Pass holder. With the little figment, he's winking. This isn't as cute as the pass holder jacket for like festival holidays. I agree, but it's still pretty nice. It's not as soft as I would like it though, but it does feel more of like a gardening style, like something that you would wear like outdoorsy or like in the garden. Yeah. How much was this one? I don't know. It is $44.99, so well, average price for a sweatshirt or a sweater. Yeah. They have a lot of turning red merchandise. <laughs> I like that one a lot. That one is really cute. This is like an adult crop top because it's so small. Yeah, I, I like it. it. I and it says like relax. It was uh, a good I movie. The four -town shirt. Maybe they have it around here it was somewhere. So cute. They have like this little button down for like they don't kids. Have it. They don't have it. it probably sold out, honestly. Pandemonium. They also have this little like squishy bow. Yeah. I cute. think that's what it is, is a bow yeah, based on this little me. thing. And that one is $29.99. It's like a squishmallow. I also wish they made these in my size. Me too. Because I love red pandas already. And I really like the movie, but they're like so squishy and soft. Yeah, they're really nice. And I need some slippers. This is so incredibly soft as well. It's $35. So it's actually a little carrying case. Yeah. And inside is a blanket. So it's like a pillow and blanket combo. This is a nice like little girl shirt too. It says Panda Ah uh, Party, too cute. It's kind of like a little all over colorful print. And this shirt is $24.99. So this is like the little pattern that has it. So it has like boba, it has her right here, her as a panda, some bow. And it's really soft. It's extremely soft. Yeah, it's really nice. So I really like this one. If it were like just a pattern of like boba and the panda and not like the little girl's face, I probably would get it. Maybe. Yeah, but I don't think I want a blanket that has a little girl's face on it. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just want the panda. He's very cute. This is a nice little area where you can come and sit. They just kind of put this up for like different flower and garden stuff with different yeah. information about landscaping, outdoor scapes. I like the bathtub with flowers. That is really cool. <laughs> Ooh. What's that smell? I don't know. It smells delicious. Is it the breakfast place? This little Might be over is the here. One. It smells like maybe bacon, smoked bacon. Maybe. There's also mm. one right behind us too. Maybe it's something there. Oh, could be. I don't know. I'm very hungry, but I really want to go look because we came on the backside. That's oh, what I want to look at. Here. There's Guardians of the Galaxy. So I just wanted to show like a little update. That's the Nova Corps Starship out front. Oh my gosh, they repainted the building. Yeah. Wow, well, really cool. wasn't it like all a sky blue? No, only like oh that the was. was. Yeah. Was like, remember it was like orange? I don't like remember red. honestly, but it looks really nice. I am so excited for that ride to be open. I really hope they do like a pass holder preview or something. Yeah, hopefully, we'll have to make sure we get like signed up for that because I think that's gonna be insane if they do. Yeah. Because Remy's was hard enough as it is, so there it is up close. Oh, they should have put it on like a landing pad instead of that. Oh yeah, like something like, so it there. Like it it's kind of harsh to see. I'm gonna try and brighten it up. There it goes. That's really cool though. I'm really excited for this ride. Yeah, the the color actually does look really nice. It does. I like the gray that they. But did. yeah, I think like this part right here, maybe. Yeah. But it's still really cool. It is really cool. I am so excited for this to be open. I've said that already, but. 
Because of course we love Guardians. We love the Guardians at Disneyland, but I think it's gonna be cool to have like a Guardians post. Right. Cool. Especially here. Yeah. And that means maybe we'll get some Guardians merch. Yeah. Alright, I think the first stop at food is gonna be down over by Test Track. It's Epcot Sunshine Grill. And I definitely want to try the fried cinnamon roll bites, but the corned beef brisket hash sounds pretty good too. This all looks good. That looks amazing. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. These are the fried cinnamon roll bites. They have like candied bacon on top. Also, this was $4.50 for five. That's not too bad. They're kind of like donut holes. Yeah, they look like a little donut. Alright, let's give them a try. Whoa! <laughs> I was not expecting that. I wasn't either. It like shot out. That's very good. It looks amazing. Mm. It's like nice and sweet, obviously, because it has like the glaze on the top, but then the bacon is kind of salty. Yeah. It's like really balanced. It's really good. It looks amazing. I'm excited to try those. We had to start with dessert first, right? Mm hmm. No, it's breakfast. Oh, sorry, breakfast. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go for the whole thing here. Whoa. Good, huh? That's incredibly good. It's kind of like surprising because when you take a bite, at first you don't get like a lot of cinnamon. You just get yeah. like cinnamon sugar. But the inside is like a cream cheese cinnamon sugar like blast of flavor. Yeah. So when it like bursts or like the middle of it, the filling, you just like smack it. Like there's so no. much cinnamon in there. Tommy, what are you that doing? is really good though. I would highly recommend that. One thing I will say is those are incredibly sweet. Very sweet. Um, the bacon helps a little bit to cut through yeah. with like a little bit of salt, but not a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't think I could eat all five of them, but I, I think together. It's like a good sharing portion for four dollars and fifty cents. Like, I know I thought it that was, was a lot. Like two. Yeah. So it was more than I was expecting. Um, very very good. Yeah. I definitely give those a ten out of ten. I would get them again. So this is like the booth that we are smelling the um, charcoal from, or like the grill. They have a char grilled bison ribeye that they've been grilling over there. So like that's what the smell is. It yeah. smells amazing. This creamsicle pop. Goat cheese creamsicle pop. I saw people eating this and it was like wiggly. That just doesn't sound appetizing to me. I'm not a big fan of goat cheese. It's very gamey to me. Yeah. But I don't know. This char grilled bison sounds pretty good. But there's a lot of other things on our list that I'm not sure we want to try. But maybe next time if we have another time we can come back, we'll try that char grilled bison ribeye. They also have a hibiscus lemonade cocktail. That sounds pretty good. But we're not drinkers at all, so maybe if we could get it like without the alcohol. But the hibiscus lemonade reminds me of like something that Starbucks would have. So they have a Mickey and Minnie topiary with Huey, Dewey, Louie, Donald, and Daisy back here. They have this little area, it's blossoms of fragrance. So you can smell all these little flowers. Flowery. <laughs> this by far is my favorite topiary. They have the ostriches from Fantasia, there's Sorcerer Mickey, there's the hippo, and the crocodile over there. Look at that hippo. <laughs> and the alligator. There's Minnie over there. Yeah, like her little classic. Which I've noticed a lot of the characters here um, at Epcot are wearing their, their classic costumes and not their 50th. I like that. I just miss seeing them in their classic. Because we've been 50th for so long now. No, and it's still like another normal. Which isn't like a bad thing, but it's just nice to see a classic, classic mini, classic Mickey. So this is one of the many spots that you can get your little map for $9.99 at for Spike's Pollination Exploration. That is a tongue twister. What do we have? Um, there's just different things. I think they might be different like flowers or something, or oh. maybe you're looking for Spike, like we looked for um, oh, Figment that one time. Yeah, like so, um, but I want to go look and see like what their prizes are. So those four little containers are the prizes for the little Spike hunt. And there's an orange bird, a Mickey, a figment, and a Spike. They're like little bento box containers, or they would fit like your little sandwich to take in like your lunch box. Still at the front of World Showcase, they have a little trowel and trellis. It's the impossible stuff, which looks actually really good. The baby vegetable looks delicious. 
But I'm looking at I'm looking at the Impossible soup and kale or sausage and kale soup. Well, that does look good. Or the chocolate cake even looks good. Is it raspberry? Looks like it has raspberries. Mm. Oh, it's right there. Yep, with fresh raspberries and raspberry gelato. <laughs> right next to Trowel and Trellis, they have a bunch of different other like flower and garden merch that we haven't seen yet. Home sweet comb. That is cute. It's like it's a, it's a salt trash can shaker. salt trash can. and pepper shaker. This makes so much sense because that's where you eat your festival food. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. So cute. It's really shiny, so it's hard to see. It's honey. But it's like spike and it's little honey home. So cute. And flowering garden 2022. I'm like I said, I'm not a big fan of the years, but I really like that magnet. Look at this cute cup. And the cup. It's like beehive. That is really cool. Cute. It's 22.99, a little bit more than the orange bird. Yeah, I like oh, that one though. There's also this limited edition spike the bee pin for flower and garden. Oh, that's cute. This one is $17.99. So they have like this windbreaker type, like really lightweight jacket. It's spirit jersey. Last year they did actually a um, orange bird one. And this one is 60, no, $49.99. We found the orange bird bucket hat. It's so cute. It says squeeze me. <laughs> it matches the spirit jersey. And the ears and stuff. Like an all over print. This one's also $39.99. So cute. They do have an orange bird one. It's Think like orange. Uh, orange bird, orange uh, spaceship earth. Yeah, it's like sliced orange. That's, That's really fun. cute. They also have this uh, flower and garden mystery pin set. So there's Figment, Spike, Pluto, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Chip, Dale, Donald, and Daisy. Cute. And it's $24.99 for two of the mystery pins. They also have this really cute mixing bowl that goes with all the spike stuff. Just like honeycomb with a little spike on it. They also have this cute shirt that has different kinds of flowers on it with spike and then it says flower and garden 2022. Here's our boys. These might be my second favorite topiaries. You can buy your own bonsai. I really want one. I almost bought one from the Japan Pavilion. Yeah, but that was like grow your own bonsai. Oh, yeah. Look how tiny that one is, though. Look at this one. It's a fly trap. Oh, yeah. Dax would love that. I love Venus fly traps. But you have to be careful. You have to make sure that you don't actually, like, touch their little things. Because it takes them a long time for them to reopen so they can digest. Yeah. But look at this little tiny Aww, juniper. Oh, that one is so cute. Zoe likes this one. Yeah, that one's so cute. There's this one. That's, like, probably the smallest one. Yeah, That's are cool. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this one though. It's like very long, elongated over here, but it's like like in a little zen rock. You can do little edible things. You can grow your own fruit. I've never had a mulberry. I don't think I have either, but, but like, you can get a, fig, that's a mulberry bush. And this one's a pineapple. Look at this. It reminds me of Pim Test Kitchen. Oh yeah, because it's like in like a little beaker. Yeah. Oh look, here's a bamboo. Yeah, and they have some cacti. I like plants. These are kind of cool looking hanging plants too. I want like all of these plants. These are jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> you can get itty bitty tiny tiny succulents. succulents. Like so small. Those are the smallest I've ever seen. They're literally the size of my thumb. How cute. What's this? What's uh, this I don't know what that one is. It looks very interesting. It's cool. I don't know what it is. These are cool. They're like woven together. There's ginseng ficus. That might be what that one is too. There's also like these smaller plants. They have like coffee and bamboo, different things. I like this like jade elephant. That one's cool. Oh, look at this turtle. There's a money tree. Oh yeah, we need a money tree. Yeah. They also have puffer fish. And a monkey and a rooster. I love it. Is that an octopus? It is. Look at the octopus. They have basin out at like a festival market. You can do little bath salts and bath bombs and stuff. Most of them are like floral for flower and garden. Would you like some potatoes? Sure. Because that's what they have here. They have a potato pancake with caramelized ham, onions, and herb sour cream. Or they have potato pancakes with house-made applesauce. I think we're gonna try the toasted pretzel bread. It's topped with black forest ham and melted Gruyere cheese. I will say this doesn't look quite as pictured 
But I think it's just because it's been like out for a little bit. Yeah. But the cheese looks really good. Ooh, it's warm. It's really hot. Is outside. it? Like it's hot outside. Oh. That's true. Okay. We need we need that honey peach freeze. Yeah, we were gonna. But that's like on the opposite side of the park. Mm. Good. <laughs> she went back for two bites. That's a ten. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mm. That is good. Um, the Gruyere cheese is really good. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're not like a big cheese fan, if you've never had it. You might not like it because it is a little stronger cheese. Yeah, it is. Um, but it goes really well with the ham and the bread. I really like this as well. It's like a really good savory option. Um, it was like what, five dollars? Yeah. Something like that. So for the size, it's really not bad. I think. No. It's really decent festival food, but I also give it a ten. We're here by Summerfest, which is a quick service place in the Germany Pavilion. We are trying the pretzel bread pudding. It's not a festival food, but it's new. It sounds good. And it sounds really good, so it we're gonna try it. $5.10 after tax. Oh, so I don't know how big it is, but it sounds amazing. Zoe was showing me and I was like, yes, we have to try that today. Yeah. All right, dig in. This looks amazing. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. That's what it looks like. So it's pretzel bread pudding. Yeah. So, and it's like soaked, it has like, looks like caramel and like a, you know, a cream on top. Creme anglaise, maybe. Could be. Is it good? That is so good. It smelled good. It's like cinnamon, cinnamon y too. That's a hard word to say. Cinnamon y. Yeah, like we said, it's not part of Flower and Garden, but it is new and we wanted to try it, so. Ooh. I just got a little bit of salt with it too. That's amazing. That gets a 12 out of 10. Ooh. I think this is the best thing we've had today. And we've had some good food today. Here she goes for the bite. The life changing thing. Every food we've ever had in Germany has been amazingly good. That's so good. You like it? Flavor? So good. Yeah. And I wonder if they use the same concept. Like bread pudding, like usually you use like a harder bread or like bread that has kind of gone stale a little bit. So I wonder if they've like repurposed the pretzels that kind of go like stale a little bit but aren't bad and then like put them in a bread pudding. It's amazing. You agree? Yeah. There's just something about like the inside of it. Pretty good size too. It's nice warm and cinnamon. Yeah, for like five bucks. That's a good size. Not festival food, but good snack. Also, it does qualify as a snack credit, which says on the menu, one day dining plan is going to come back. It's got to because... All the festival menus have had like the dining plan right. snack credits. They and they're they're back new, back. they're new things. Yeah. So I know like there are people that still have dining cards that have like been reimbursed from their past trip, so maybe that's, maybe why. that's why. But I feel like dining plan has to come back soon. I think so. It was a big money maker. I think they would have made a lot of money off of dining plan. Yeah. There's me. And there's Zoe. No, there's me. That that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Okay. No, that's you. Oh, okay. No, you'll notice I did point to Dopey the first time. <laughs> that is me because I got no, a No, that's you. Me. There's a lizard. Yeah, don't you see it on our arm? Oh, yeah. You can't see it on the camera, but there's a lizard. Gek. Hello, Mr. Gick. This, I think, was one of our favorite places last year at the Primavera Kitchen. The arancini was amazing. Oh, yeah, it was so good. Super, super good. We're not going to have them this year, but we'll link our video from last year in the description below so you guys can see that review. We loved those. Okay, I'm not sure why, because this is the the America Pavilion, mm. but they have all this Mary Poppins stuff. We're going back against the American Revolution. No, look at this. That is really cute. Practically perfect in every way. That look how awesome this is with the little penguins. It's so cute. If you've got that, wear that. Milk glass. Milk glass. Zoe likes to drink milk out of these little glasses. Yeah. Or juice. Or juice. The juice glass. Juice glass. You can get some little topiaries. Oh, Look at the little turtle or the duck or they have Mickey Mouse and they also have just the Mickey head We wanted to get one but then I just saw the price and it's $69. It's $59.99 so it's yeah. a little pricing but I really like them. It'd be fun to grow a little Mickey head. You'd have to prune him a lot though so that he wouldn't overgrow. We made it to the Encanto booth and it's beautiful over here. 
It looks like Isabella grew all of her plants over here. Yeah. So right now it's called La Isla Fresca. And they have a lot of arepas. And they look really good. But I'm kind of full right now. I don't know if I want to eat. But maybe we'll come back. Maybe. But uh, definitely the arepa topped with chorizo would probably be the one I would want. Yeah. But even the like the one with the cheese sounds good too. Yep. Also, they have a tropical breeze, lemonade, crazy. grapefruit, and simple syrup. This is one that we had last year. The beignet, like the caramel beignet on top. It was good. Um, I don't think it was like our ultimate favorite. I think it was the only because it wasn't very sweet. It wasn't as sweet as I thought it was going to be. In the UK, they have a little Tinkerbell. Well, it's actually a big Tinkerbell. But it's like little Pixie Hollow, all the little huts. And there's Tinkerbell's house. That's her house right there? Yep. I haven't seen that, so. What? You haven't seen it? We gotta watch it. It's so cute. I've never seen it. It's so cute. Hello, rabbit. Oh, rabbit's cute. And look at Winnie the Pooh with his little balloon. And there's Tigger. I think Tigger is my favorite Winnie the Pooh character. Little probably. Piglet and Eeyore. Cooper or Eeyore. Mine's between, I think, Tigger and Eeyore. It depends on the day. Because some days I feel like I'm like Tigger. And some days you just have to feel and relate to Eeyore. They have a little BLT scone here in like the cider house at the UK pavilion between kind of like UK and Canada. It's literally applewood smoked bacon, sun-dried tomato, and basil inside of a scone. I love TikTok croc. Oh, he's Look at his little tongue. I love it. Also, there's Peter Pan and Captain Hook, but Captain Hook kind of looks scary. Yeah. He looks like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> yeah, he does. And of course, we have the famous orange bird sipper. It's yes. the orange lemon smoothie, which is amazing. It comes with the sipper for 15, or you can get it just the smoothie for $4.50. We're not gonna try that this year because we've had it before. Yeah. We're actually gonna go just over the way here and get the or no, the honey peach freeze. And that is at the citrus blossom, of course. But just across the way is the honey bistro with like little honey bee boxes, That's what we're going. jars of honey, Aww. and not too long of a line over here. She's so excited to have her bee. So cute. <laughs> Adam said he looks like he's doing yoga, so now he's a yoga bee. Yeah, or he kind of reminds me of like a Buddha statue. Yeah, he kind of does, and he has like little wings. Yeah. He's does his antenna cute. like move? Yeah. He's, he's like bendy. He's very bendy. Oh, it's thick. Good? <laughs> wow. First, it's, it's delicious. It reminds me more of an ice cream than a slushie. Oh. Like it's well, it's really a freeze, thick. so I wonder if it has like a Maybe it's ice, cream. ice cream in there. It's delicious. It's not as sweet as I was expecting, but it's really good. Is it more peach or more honey? I think it's more peach. It's like, remember when we used to cut up those peaches from the backyard and like put them in milk? Put them in milk for breakfast? That's yeah. What this reminds me of. Oh, that yeah. sounds good. It's really good. Mm. It is good. I think peach is kind of a hard flavor too. Like, it's not very strong. No. When it's the fruit itself. Yeah. And I think it is fresh, like peach is what it tastes like, not like artificial peach. So I think that's why it's like very faint. It's really good. But it's like, ice cream like vanilla ice cream with like a little bit of honey peach flavoring yeah it's pretty tasty i like it it's the circle of life that rafiki is not it he um He's scary. it's very hard to get capture rafiki's face i think yeah <laughs> not the best no. but i like the topiaries yeah because some kind of look like that and some are like really good yeah but some are like kind of dumb yeah See, like this one. I think Pumbaa looks just like Pumbaa, but then Timon kind of has like this dumb little smile. I don't know, it's just funny. Obviously, they're way better than I could do. I can't do a topiary, but they're really cool. And of course, the figment topiary. Look. He kind of always looks dumb, though. He looks like he's supposed to have dentures in and took them out. Oh, no. Winnie the Pooh's over there, like trying to catch some butterflies. But we want to head over here into Bambi's butterfly house. This time, maybe we'll land on this. Yeah, it's good luck if they do. Also, look. 
There's Flower and Thumper and Bambi. And then there's little Spike, part of his little Spike hunt. We're gonna enter into the flower and the butterfly area. I love it in here so much. Yeah. Look at this butterfly right here. It's just amazing. You can get so many cool pictures and videos of these little guys. I know, they're so And it's like this whole little tent is full of them. And you can learn all about the butterfly life cycle. And they have like their little hives over here too. This was definitely one of my favorite parts of last year. And I think it's one of my favorite parts of this year too. That one's beautiful. This like black and white with like red on its tail. Oh yeah. That one's really beautiful. Oh, it almost looks like a dragonfly shape. I'll see if I can zoom in. This one is definitely doing something with the flower and its nectar. Oh yeah, you They're can little, see like, his little tongue. things. Yeah, you can see it in the camera. So cool. And here's the amazingly beautiful quilt that they have over here. Just like the flowers that they change. Look, that's the 50th. This is a 50 over there. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys, at Flower and Garden. We had such an amazing day today. It was so fun. much fun. It was a good day. Um, I definitely want to come back. Yeah. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. Yeah, we didn't try as many foods as we were thinking because we kind of got full. full. And it's really hot, so sometimes when it's hot, yeah. you don't want to eat, you know? Yeah, especially like warm foods. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to come back to the Encanto booth, so. Yeah. Maybe we'll vlog that, maybe we won't. It's kind of like hit and miss. Yeah. So, um, but thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. We do have a new video coming out every Friday. So stay tuned for those and we'll see you guys in the next vlog.